This year hasn't been easy, but we're proud to say that at Invelo we have succeeded in doing pretty well. We want to tell you about some of them. At Invelo we love to innovate fun new safari stuff. And this year we didn't stop. Last rainy season was an exceptional one. We had a great time figuring out canoeing on the flooded grasslands at Ngomo. Man, we had so much fun. And we found out Wangi's elephants weren't in the least bit perturbed by inflatable canoes. For the past few years, we've had lots of our guests go for morning runs with our super fit Cobra Scouts. But this year, we took that to another level with a mini marathon for runners escorted by our Cobras. All our competitors loved the run, but importantly, also raised cash and supplies for the Cobras and the Garmo Sanctuary Project. Very, very awesome. So, we're planning another for next year. Another great success were our first sundowner cruises across the Ngamo Plains. Not in boats, but on the Elephant Express, our wonderful rail car. And that's a super fun hour with a cool drink or two, some snacks, incredible sunsets, and lots of wildlife. And this year we also ran our first 14-day conservation course for young adults. This was a great success too, and we planned two of them for 2022, in May and in June. We deliver incredible experiences to our guests, and what a year the guests who have made it to us have had. Wangi's wildlife had a bumper year on the back of incredible rains. Our elephant and the experiences we have with them, we continue to bill as the best elephant show on the planet. Our celebrity cheetahs at Ngamo, and of course the new Josie Packer wild dog, to mention only a few. But definitely, this year would be called the year of the lion. The Nehemba pride thrilled guests regularly, often very close to camp. The sad loss of their matriarch, the legendary horse, broke our hearts, but her legacy lives on in her pride. And our Bomani pride, with their nine awfully cute cubs and the endless rivalry between Lesung and the other baggage handlers, have made for epic lion sightings, photography, and observations. It has really been genuinely heartwarming to have the overseas guests and friends visit who did make it. They dealt with the hassles that travel in the COVID world have created and found them to be not so bad. These guests helped sustain us and kept safari travel dreams alive, and we thank all of them. And to all the Zimbo wildlife enthusiasts who visit us and over the past two years have helped us keep our lodges open and so kept our wildlife protected and our staff and community sustained. A special thank you. But those of you who know us will know that we are perhaps most proud of is we've kept our feet firmly on the gas with our community and conservation work. And Velo has once again delivered with a year of actual performance and not just empty talk. At Ngamo, after three long years and endless COVID-induced holdups, we have built and now also equipped, with great help from Australian friends, a wonderful new clinic scheduled to open with its nurses in the new year. Development of the community-based sanctuary at Ngamo is now complete and our last intake of COBRA recruits are to be badged after a year of intensive training in mid-January. Our schools, teachers and pupils had an awful year with COVID closures. But our school lunch program continued to sustain nearly 3,000 kids' energy levels with over 300,000 lunches. And we thank all our donors very, very sincerely. Our school books program had an incredible year as well. Over 30,000 books, new books, from Oxford University Publishers and the Wangi School Books Project. Again, thank you to them too. And our 18-pump solar hybrid powered game water supply program spread across a huge sway of the Wangi. Once again, kept our thirsty herds watered and hats off to our teams that kept water in our pans through an awfully hot and dry October. And this year, as usual, our year just culminated with our annual Smile and Sea Safari. And in Velo's teams, in support of our Spanish and Italian volunteer heroes, pulled off an incredible achievement in an environment severely compromised by the myriad issues related to the pandemic and of course its latest variant. But we still treated four thousand and seven patients. I say that again, 4,007 patients. Serious salute. We crossed our project's 30,000th patient milestone and our optometric department prescribed and issued their 10,000th set of spectacles to the people living even in the remotest areas around Wangi. We're really excited about 2022 and its potential. We've proven we can conduct our unique brand of experiential, meaningful safaris in a COVID world and still deliver incredible experiences, particularly in a multi-camp Wangi Bay safari, thereby reducing the risk of the COVID hassle that increases as we increase the number of destinations in the safari itinerary. And now also our team is under our collective belt, a wealth of practical experience in operating safely 
and reducing inconvenience in dealing with the inevitable hiccups in a COVID world that adventure travel entails. And it's not just game drives from wonderfully different camps in wonderfully unique areas, but walks too, mountain biking, even canoeing now, our beloved Elephant Express, look-up blinds, dinners with the elephants, pump runs and bush lunches, and of course, carefully conducted real interactions with our local communities. Masked, sanitized, vaccinated, socially distanced, in the open air, but still meaningful and real. So from all of us at Invelo, to all of you from around the world, we thank every one of you for your support. We can't do this without you. Happy holidays, enjoy your festive season, stay safe, and please, let's see you next year. Wangi is waiting.